Okay, great. Our footage finally imported into the Avid Media Files folder on our two terabyte hard drive. If we take a closer look here at our icons, you can visually tell a difference between a file that has been imported and placed inside of the Avid Media Files library or an AMA link file. Notice the little kind of link icon. Let's go ahead and double click on our new piece of source material and load it into the source monitor. Now you can see that we can scrub through this footage just like we can with the AMA link, but now this footage is located inside of the Avid Media Files folder. Another thing that we can do here inside of our bin, if we stretch this window out, we can take a look and see where our footage is located. Of course, the duration, video and audio tracks, and then over here is the video compression profile. And here you can see that we have imported to Apple ProRes HQ at 1080p. And the AMA link file is still using the H.264. Now the computer is going to work faster if we edit and render our effects in ProRes. H.264 is going to slow us down in the long run. We get a short term fix by being able to bring the file into the Avid and edit right away but the long-term effects are it could slow us down with rendering. Also notice over here is the audio sampling rate and some other information. Okay, let's go ahead and just stretch this window back. Now let's talk about importing audio inside of Avid. If I double click on my audio bin, and now I wanna go ahead and import audio into the Avid library. So this time I'll just use the import option, and I'm gonna go to my source media music. Now I'm gonna click on my audio. I want my audio to go to the two terabyte drive also. I wanna click open, and now the Avid will import the audio file and place it inside of the Avid Media Files folder. We'll go ahead and wait for this to transfer, only a few more seconds, and then we'll be able to double click on our audio and play it back. Okay, there we go. You can see the little waveform inside the icon indicating that it is an audio file. If I double click on the file, we can load it in the source, but notice that we don't see the waveforms. If we want to be able to see the waveforms like we do in Final Cut Pro and in Premiere, we need to toggle our source and record into the timeline. So if I click on the toggle button, we now have the audio down here inside of the timeline, but we still need to be able to see the waveforms. So if we go click on the hamburger or the fast menu and we go to audio data, notice that I can select the waveform. And then while I'm inside of here, let's go ahead and turn on the clip gain and the volume if we want to make keyframe adjustments later to our volume. Let's go ahead and make sure we toggle back in our regular timeline mode. So that's the quick way to import footage and audio into Avid Media Composer.